Well, good morning, folks. Hey, the old fisherman back with you. We're on Lake Monticello here today. It's Friday. Hey, right before a big holiday weekend, I'm going to show you. We, we're going out this morning, and we're going to start with the deep water bass and, uh, and, and perch. Hopefully, we find some big perch. I found a lot of perch here lately, but I can't find the big ones. We're using a three rig today, and I got braid line. Braid line works real well for deep water fishing. It goes off your real well, real well <clears throat> and doesn't curl up. And, uh, and I got a 12 pound test fluorocarbon line on a three rig. I got a swivel, you're going down about 10 inches and putting a, uh, I got a, a quarter ounce head with a three inch Charlie Brewer jig and then we got a swivel underneath that. And then we go down about 10 more inches. We got a, a eighth ounce head jig under it with a small uh, uh, another Charlie Brewer three inch with about an inch cut off so it's probably about two and a quarter inch somewhere along there uh, or two inch and then we got the bottom jig another line coming off we got two lines off the bottom swivel we got a little lead right in between the last two jigs on the bottom line and we got an eighth ounce head with a uh, two and an eighth inch swimming minnow Charlie Brewer that's what we're gonna start off with today and uh, I feel sure with them bass this time of the year in Lake Monticello getting the deep water uh, postponed and uh, like like bass from the, and Heron Lakes gets up on shallow points where this lake's up and down, they tend to get deeper on the, on the points, but underwater points, deep points, deep ridges, deep drops. And we're going to fish this rig by dropping it down and reeling it up really slow. I say slow, about a medium reel just to make them tails wiggle at a slant. As I drop it down, I pull the boat up about 20 yards and I pull it in as a slant. They like the slanting effect. And uh, we're gonna see what we can do. And if that don't work, we're going catfishing on the rocks. Lake Monticello, hey, let's go fish and see what we can do. Lake Monticello, loving life. <laughs> Well, good morning, folks. Hey, the old fisherman back with you. We all Lake Mont, I sell it this morning. We're gonna drop down and catch us some doggone bass and, and perch right quick. I think it's something down there. Let's see what we can do today. We got a bunch of shad on the bottom. Uh, I know it's fish down there. Got to be. Got to be fish down there. It's just a matter of catching them. To see if we can get them to bite. We are starting to blow. It's supposed to be like 15, 20 mile an hour today. So it's going to be a windy day. So we got to do it early. It's supposed to be real hot. Hey, already got a bite. Second drop. Already got one. Already got one. Already. We're going to let it hang down and see if we can get another to take it right quick. Let's see what we can do here. I don't believe we got but one though. We already got one. No, we got two. Look at that. Jumbo Magnums too. Two at a time, Jumbos. That's what we're looking for, folks. Right there, Jumbo Magnums. This camera up here, it kind of got off. We're gonna have to readjust it a little bit. The wind's blowing us. Hey, drop it back down. To the bottom, we done got two. First, it was the second pool that I caught two. Loving life with the old fishermen. Ain't nothing like it, folks. Ain't nothing like it. We're gonna drop it down and we're gonna reel it up. See if we can get a nut. 
There you go. One bump. There you go. Got it. Got it. They out there. Hey, they out there. See if we can get two, two or three. I got the three rig on. Hopefully that we can catch three at a time before the day's over. Another nice perch. Hey, they on fire. We're using a, uh, at the bottom of uh, a jig, I just changed over to a Bobby Garland gray color, shad color jig is what I changed over to. Trying to fix my hook, it's not spread out on me here this morning. Drop back down. See if we can get another. Hey, we own some fish and they bite us. Glad y'all could be with me on another episode of Loving Life with the Old Fisherman. And we are loving life, folks. It's hot, though. It's been hot the last couple of days. I, I didn't go yesterday. Hey, we got them. They eating it up. They eating it up this morning. I got here early as I could get here this morning because I, I think they're going to hit early. That's a bass, I think. Might be a big perch. Big perch. Look at the size of that perch. That is a jumbo. That, my friend, is a jumbo knife. They're knocking my, my jig down on this uh, other one. It's stripping out, and we got a, got a mess here. Need to keep it going. Don't need to be messing with things right now, but we got, got a mess here. Right off the bat, got a mess. Huh, right off the bat. We're gonna put, I'm gonna try something right quick. Cause that, that jig's too little for that. We need to, let's put us a blue one on, on that second put it on blue and, and, and silver looking one see if they hit it Bobby Garland that that uh, two and an eighth inch or two and a half whatever it is I don't know what it is uh, it's a Bobby Garland swimming minnow is what it is they seem to like that thing out here they I never have used it in this lake I use it in Lake Murray I'm trying to pull it. Pull the tail off. It's got a double tail. I don't like that top tail. I cut the top tail off. I think it wiggles better without the top tail. Let's drop it back there. We had 21 foot of water right here. We're on top of the ridge. They're on top of the ridge bite. All we got to do is go anywhere on this ridge, it looks like. they out here. Anywhere. They is. they killing it, folks. Them jokes is on fire. they on fire. What? Look at that, two at a time. They on fire. I can tell you that. They on fire. These white perch are on fire. And just a matter of time before we get us bass. I can tell you that much. Just a matter of time before we get a bass. Y'all know that. They killing it. I can tell you that. They killing it. Drop it down. To the bottom with a big girl's life. Loving life with the old fish. Alright, let's see what we can do. They're gonna fade away. They bite a little bit and then they quit. That's what they do. They bumping it. They bumping it. Drop it down. Let's drop it to the bottom where the big girls lie. Oh, there he goes. That's a good one. That's a good one. They're killing it. They're killing it. Uh oh. Got my jigs all twisted up here. That ain't good. That ain't good. That's a mess of what we got. I got one big hook on the top, and I think it's causing me problems. And I'll tell you something else, too. These jig, jig heads, you really need quarter ounce heads for the three rig because it keeps them separated. The eighth ounce head sometimes is too light, and it causes a little problem. But we got it. And, uh, we got to fix our lid. Our lid's sliding too easy. We got to tighten it down a little bit. All right, let's drop back down. Drop back down. We done got way, we in 22 foot of water, but I think I see some bass hooks in there. And bass might be up shallow here this morning. They might be on top of the ridge this morning. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, there they are. I think they're all over the ridge. Shallow, deep, they everywhere. They out here, buddy. They killing it, too. They killing it. I don't mind telling them. They killing that dog on Bobby Golden swimming middle. Oh, my goodness. 
chilling it. They everywhere out here. We're gonna fill the drum up right quick. I see them, they're running after it, but they ain't hitting it every time from shallow. We gotta get off the side a little bit. We in 20, 19 foot of water now. Let's go back off the side. Let's work it back off the side here, folks. See you? They killing it, folks. They killing it. I'm telling you, they killing it. There's another one. See if we can catch three of them. Hey, I don't know. Oh, no, now we ain't got one. He's a nice one. Big ones are up shallow is what it is. Y'all see it? They're killing it, ain't they? They don't bite ya. They don't bite. Oh, I'm gonna control them over there. Crazy. They went the wrong way. He's going off the fish. Get back out here. Alright, let's see if we get another. He is, boy, they kill them, ain't they? they out there. Ain't no question about that. First of all, over the place like They killing it this morning. They on fire. Old fishermen loving life here this morning. Let me clean the fish for a while today. I can tell you that much. Mm -hmm. They on fire. Every time you put one out, they nailed it. Every time. I'm telling you what. I mean, nice ones, too. Nice ones, too. Y'all see it? I'm in a hurry, Anna. I'm laying it to them is what I'm doing. He's putting the metal to the pedal. Or the pedal to the metal, excuse me. <laughs> Got that backwards. Glad y'all could be with me, though, on another episode of Love and Life. We love it that day. I love it when they bite like this. That's why I like Lake Monticello. Sometimes they just eat it up. You can get, get the water right over here, you can kill them. And that's what we're doing today, folks. We're killing them. Huh. We're laying it to them, I'll tell you that much. We're going to let him go. We're laying it to them. Drop it back down to the bottom. You know the big girl? I don't know where the bass are. Bass is usually in here. Ain't them a perch in here today. What's in here? Perch. Alright, see what we can do. They is cold, oh, I missed it. They all over this place. They killing it too. They on fire. They on fire. They is. Hey, hey. You reckon they on fire? I think they are. I think they're on fire. I don't know why we ain't catching one at a time. They ought to be catching three at a time. That's two. Two at a time. That's a nice little top. What? Oh my. Oh my. They're killing it, folks. I'm telling you, they're killing it. They're on fire. Them jokers got their time of feeding and we done hit it right. It's full moon. That's why. They always bite good in full moon, these perch. And new moon. Always. You count on it. You can count on them. Oh, have mercy. Put it to them, buddy. Put it to them. They can get one that time. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Talk too quick. Talk too quick. Wonder where the bass is. That's a little one. Wonder where the bass is. And I tore my jig up. Then I put the tail off my jig. Talk. Now we ain't got no wiggle tail. Just straight tail. They still hitting it. I don't see a lot out here. Deep. They on the, they on the point up there. I think the big ones might be on the point. Oh, there he is. They laying it to it, ain't they? They on the feed out there, buddy. Tell you right now, they on a the feed right now. They killing it. Up and down to the bottom. What a big girl's like. I like it when they bite like this. Anybody like it when they bite like this. They on fire. Right we we don't went everywhere from 17 foot to 30 foot. They biting all over. 
all over this rig. They, they suspend it out here. You know? When you get out deep, they, out, they hit way up. They just all feeding out in here, what it is. All feeding. They bumping it. I know it's some bass in here somewhere. Got to be. All these perch got to be. You know a shad in here. The perch wouldn't be in here like this. Hey, oh, there you go. There he goes. There he goes. Little ones. They hitting that doggone jig without a tail now. They're killing it. It's like a little minnow is what it looks like. It's just like the minnow. Catch a mess of these, then we'll go catch something else. Oh, come on. Hey, yeah. They're killing it, y'all. They're killing it. They are killing it. Oh, my goodness. They on fire. They like that gray color better than they like that blue color, I can tell you that. That's a fact. Like they want them gray, darker colors. Got that time. They like a slant too. They like a slant for sure. Better put a slant on you and you'll catch them. And they quit. They quit just like that. And they feel that. If they went in the feed, quit. They're done. They left. Don't see them. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? They, 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 Look at that. Don't quit. Pull them up a little bit. Got to search over here, we'll get back on them. They done. They bite for a little bit, they quit every time. Bumping at it, they take it, they hitting it again. They quit fighting right for what they're doing. They're going out of a feed all of a sudden. Then they got immune to us. That you catch a few, they quit. They were fighting. They just seem to quit. Not that they are. There's fish right there though. 30 foot, they will all to catch one of them. There he is. That's a good one. That's a bass. That's a bass. That's a bass. Be interesting to see if he's on that big jig. Oh, he's coming up under the boat. He's coming up. Oh, he's a big one. 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 I just remembered I ain't fixed my net. We got him on that big jig I put on. No, I don't. No, I don't. I got him on a regular jig, on a small jig. Look at that, folks. Look at what the old fisherman just caught. He has too much darn jig off, too. He has too much jig off. Look at him. Look at him. Beauty. Beauty. We're going to put him in the live well. We'll be back in a minute. Somebody asked me, do you ever throw them back that you put in the live well? Well, look here. I can keep five if I want to, but I do throw them back because, because I don't want these bad. I got other fish. Hey, folks, the moves. And, uh, hey, we got one on. We got a nice one on. Big one. Big one on. Look at that, what a jumbo. Look at that, what a jumbo, folks. That's a jumbo magnum. What that is. Drop it back down. Jumbo. Boy, that wind's blowing now. I can tell you that, it's blowing. All right, folks. We moved down to the lake, the old spot we like. 
We're going to see if there's anything here. Right now, I don't see a thing. A lot of times, these fish are stirred up when you start fishing for them. So you can't really ride around and look for them. You got the fish to make them stir up. They're going to be laying right on the bottom, and you won't even know it. You ride right over them. But if you drop that jig down there a couple of times, they might stir up and start biting. That, that, that was a bite right there. So there's some there. One bump. That's what it takes, folks. You got to fish for them. You can't ride and look for them. You can ride around and you see some bait, maybe, but as a whole, don't let it throw you off when you don't see nothing because they show up when you start fishing a lot of times. Just a little tip from the old fisherman. Ought to be some bass out here on one of these points somewhere that'll bite. I think. There he is. There he goes. There he goes. See how many we can get on that. Then we catch a couple. Never know. I don't believe it's but one though. That's all. He's a keeper. I tell you that dog on Bobby Garland's all they hit. They done, I done about used up all of them that I got. That's any good, the gray ones. They all tore up now. We're gonna try to hook them upside down because I don't know if they'll work like that or not. See if we can make catch a couple more out of them. I hate to not use them, but I don't run out of them. I see a few fish down there. I don't know how many it's going to be and how big they're going to be, but there's a few down there. We're going to try to catch a couple of them. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Uh-oh, he come up. No, I still got him. I think one come off. It might be a bass. That's a bass done come up there. That's a bass. Oh, my. That's a bass. Big bass. Big bass. Big bass. Big bass. Oh, my. Big bass. Huh. Broke off. Tall, oh, gone. He broke off. That was about a five-pound bass, folks. I don't know if y'all can see him or not, but he was about a five-pound bass. He just broke my darn line. Oh, Lord. Now we got to retie. Oh my goodness, he broke the line. That drag was way too tight. That was my fault. Broke the line. We got to put another jig on. Mm -mm -mm. Boy, that's enough to make you angry. Y'all seen that bass jump? That was a big one. That was a good one. That was a jumbo good one. Let me tell you, that was a jumbo good one. That jugger hit it on the way up with that perch on it. What he done? That perch ignited that fish to bite. And y'all seen it. I'd have caught him if my drag had been set a little bit looser. Dad, blame it. That's my fault. Ain't nobody's fault but mine. Throw it back out. Uh -oh. Throw it back out to the bottom where the big girls lie. Hey, fish in here. All we gotta do is catch them. Boy, that was a big bass. Hey, day. My fault. That drag was just too tight for that braid line. And that's all this to it. Better have it too loose than too tight, let me tell you. When they go that surge, you better have it with a braid line that's no stretch. You don't have no stretch. They is. Hey, they they eating it up now. That's a good one. That's a bass. That's a bass. That's another bass. Oh my, that's a bass. I, I don't know. One just got off, I think. I ain't sure. Might not be a bass now. I think I had a bass, I think he got off. It ain't near as heavy. Ain't near as heavy. He got two two perch. I don't know. And it has two perch. Y'all see it. Look at that. Huh? Y'all see it. I'm laying it to him now. Y'all see it. Pop back down to the bottom. Where the big girls lie. Love fishing with the old fisherman. Catching these doggone white perch. Summertime white perch. What they do is they, after they spawn, they get out on these humps and bumps. And if you can get the right one at the right time, you can catch them. It's that simple. That simple. And you got to drop it down a slant, bring it up. I do see thing in Lake Murray up toward the river area around Dre Island, I think, with the perch. Probably stripers. I had one right there, but he a little got off. Alright. They'll bite a little bit and then they quit and they got to go find another batch of them. That's the way it works. 
There you There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Oh my, there he goes. I believe that's another bass. I think it's coming up. It's coming up. That's another bass, folks. Another bass. Another bass, little one. Little one. Bring him in the boat. Little one. Huh? Little one. Oh Lord, he's about 14. Oh Lord, he ain't 14. Hey, we're gonna let him go. I don't want to right here on my fish, but I will. Let's see if we can catch another. Drop back down. I hope that didn't run them off. That will do it. Drop it back down to the bottom where the big girls lie. See we get a nut. Hey, I'm loving this. Catching a few fish here on Lake Monticello. Loving life. Not that time. What happened? I still see fish and I ain't getting no bites. Throw that bass back. You see what I'm talking about? I know better. I need to put them in the live well and throw them back when I go to leave the next spot. That's what I need to do. No more throwing bass back. They quit and they still there. They just stay. That was a bite. They don't want to bite. Let's check our jigs. They just don't want to bite. They there. They all over the place. 36 foot of water, fish everywhere. Fish everywhere. Bumping the tail, yes. Got him. Got him. Got him. There goes a nothing. There goes a nothing. There goes a nothing. Oh my, there goes a nothing. I think we got two. I think we got two. Oh yeah, two jumbos. Look at that. Two jumbo magnums. What? Oh my, I'm talking jumbo. Jumbos. Oh, jumbos. Huh? Oh my. Look at that. Them nice ones. See, we get some more. Hey, they keep this up. We're going to have a good day here on Lake Monticello. All right, we're going to get one this time. There you go, what I tell you. There you go, there goes a nothing. There goes a nothing. There goes a nothing. I think we got two. We got two so far. Oh, Lord, that might be another bass. I believe it's another bass. Oh, yeah, it's definitely another bass. Huh? One just got off. The bass got off right there. Talk broke off. We're going to have to go to 15 pounds. No, he didn't. There he is. He just got off. Oh, gone. The bass got off. Oh, my goodness. And rabble all up my line. What? You got to hate that. All right. There's plenty of fish out here. We just got to make a bite. I see fish, and then most of them bass. You want the perch with the bass. That way you catch a perch, you might get a bass on that. After that perch gets on there and digging, or digging around with it, there's a good chance old bass will reach up there and take it. That happens so many times. If you come in slow. If you come in slow, that's what happens a lot of times. Look at that two at a time perch. Look at that. Jumbos, too. Jumbos. Jumbo magnums. Look at that. Those are skinny, though. That's like, these perch used to be fatter than that. They skinny in them today. This year. Still got a bunch of them down here. <clears throat> Loving life with the old fishermen. <laughs> All right, there it is. Go to the bottom. There's the bottom. Let's see if we catch one. There you go. Oh, we hit him. He hit it. He hit it. He hit it. I just missed it. Let's look at it. I don't, it don't feel right. It's okay though. Drop back down. Drop back down. Oh, there's plenty of fish out there. I'm not kidding. 
plenty. They stir it up out in here. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah, little one. That's a bigger one. That's a big one. See, we can fish for me and catch me a Come on, boy. I don't believe I got no more. I thought I had a bigger one, but I ain't too sure. Might not have been. We got one. Oh, he got off right there. Damn, damn it. He was a big enough to keep, too. Oh, I tell you what. Losing too many fish. Man, they stirred up. I ain't seen them stirred up like this in a long time. There's a lot of fish out here. Most of them bass. I can tell you that. They just ain't hit. They most of them bass. We're gonna get one again in a minute. One of my Hey yeah. There he goes. Let's see if we can get him done. Yeah. Ain't a perch. One perch, I think. Maybe two. One. Nice one though. Hey, a nice one. You got to love a nice one. Y'all see him? Drop it back down to the bottom. Boy, the big girl's life. Great monocell, loving life. Stir them up, that one. That one. Little one. Ain't no big one. There goes another one, though. There goes another one, I think. I think there's another one on there now. Oh, yeah. Hey, there goes the third one. We got three on there now. We got three on there now. I think, unless we got one nice one and a little one. Don't know. I'll tell you in a minute. Oh, Lord, when he got two, the two nice ones. See that? Now that, my friend, is a super dog magnet. They not hitting that two and eight inch swimming money. They hitting the three inch grub is what they hitting. Y'all see that? The three inch grub is what they hitting. Them nice perch right there. They hitting the bigger jig, y'all. The bigger jig is what they want. They don't want little jig. Drop it back out. See so if we can get another. I thought I had a bass there for a little bit, that big perch. They will not hit it. Oh, I did get a bite up. Doggone, I said did not hit it up, and it did hit it up. Oh, there's a pile of them followed it up. There's a pile of them down there. Pile of them down there on the bottom. About the pile of them. Hey, got him. Got him. Let's see if we get another one. Take it. Got him. Oh, Lord, got him. Nice perch, though. Nice perch. Ain't nothing wrong with these perch. Hey, them good ones. Got them on the two and eight inch swimming money. Drop back down. To the bottom with a big girl's life. Loving life. Hey. Hey. Oh my, he nailed it. He nailed it. Hey, day, he nailed it. We might get another one with that one. He's shaking around down there. One might grab the other jigs, maybe. Don't know. So far, they hadn't. Just one, I think. I think we got one. Don't know. Oh, we got two big ones. Look at that. Huh? Two big ones. What? Two big ones. They all hitting that little blue jig, blue and chartreuse, uh, two and a half inch swimming metal, and the three inch. Both of them now. Follow back down. We laying it to them, folks. We putting it to them out here. On the lake I love. Lake Monticello. I like it because it's quiet at times. <laughs> what I like. There he is. There he goes. Got a nut. Got a nut. Got a nut. Oh my. Come in here, boy. Come in here to the old fisherman. Folks, we just uh, had to reset our cameras. They knocked off, and I threw back out, and I got another perch. 
doggone cameras. Ever so often, you look down, they ain't running. Well, they get hot. I don't know what happens to them, but anyhow, they get real hot. They're burning hot, and they're cutting themselves off. And I don't think it's from the heat right yet, but it could be. I just think there's some kind of malfunctioning going on with these cameras. But uh, hopefully, we're recording now. You just got to, you got to learn these cameras. You, you got to know when to mess with them. You got to keep alert to know when they off. A half time you be fishing and not even know they off. So you got to kind of keep on your, your, your pins and needles uh, to make sure and monitor them to make sure they're working all the time. Or you'll be doing a video. If you lose focus on them cameras, you won't be doing a video. You'll be catching fish with no video is what happens all the time. Sometimes both of them go out. Well, like a while ago, we was catching fish. I looked back and I didn't even have a camera. We got another one. I didn't have a camera roll. I don't know how long it's been like that. So I don't know what all we've missed. I was catching the devil out of fish and all of a sudden I ain't got a camera roll. So, hey, it's the way it is. All right, folks, it's getting windy now. I said the weatherman missed it, but hey, it's getting windy. Getting on up into the day, we got 55 or six perch. And we've caught a couple bass. But, uh, hey, we had a good time for a little bit there. They kind of settled down now. I can't get them a bite. Got on up into the day. The breeze is starting to blow harder. And we got out to fish. We back to where we caught them, but, hey, I don't see them. They're not here anymore. They left. So they was up here feeding, and then they went back off the ridge. Unless we stir another little batch of them up right quick. Normally, there's always bass up here. There he goes. See when you get him nothing to bite it. Let it sit down there and ride and swim around a little bit. I believe we got three. That's what I think. I think we got three on. That's what I think. I know we got one one good one if we don't have three. Could be a bass, I don't know. No, it's two big old perch. Look at the size of them babies. That right there is a super dog jumbo magnum perk. Right there, folks. That's a big one. That right there ain't no baby. Big perch. Huh? Caught both of them on the big jig. Didn't get nothing on the little jig. Pulled it, pulled it down, but we didn't get nothing on it. Push it back up and see if we can get another on it. What y'all say? Drop it back down to the bottom. With a big girl's lie. Let's see if we can catch another 30. That'd be time to go home and play fish. 44 foot, and I see them all down there. 44 foot. All right. Uh oh, didn't hit it that time. Wasn't enough angle. That's what it was. I had it on spot lock. Don't work spot lock. I can tell you right now, if you're going to come out here and fish, fish with spot lock, you better have live bait. <laughs> ain't going to work. You can use it for your advantage holding you close to a place, but you've got to take it off a of spot lock to catch the fish. That's for sure. Like I catch them anyhow. That's a nice one right there. A jumbo, I think. I think. Old jumbo. Look at that. Magnum. That's a Jumbo Super Dog Supreme Magnum. What? They're killing them. Hey, put it back down. Nice perch right in here. It'll blow like crazy for a little bit and then it kind of settles down. That sun's getting hot though, I can tell you that. Drop it down. So we get a nut. There's the bottom. Let's see if we get one. Uh oh, didn't get one that time. Drop it back down. I see something down there though. 44 foot down a little deeper than it was. Hey, he hit it. He hit it, but I missed it. He 
there he goes. Can we get him nothing to bite it? That's what we want. A nut. I believe we got a nut. I ain't sure. Might just be one nice one. I don't know. This rod here don't bend as easy as a lot of my other rods. Look at, oh, one just got off. We had two on. The big one just got off. Dad, blame it. On the way up. Got to hate that. On the way up. Yeah. Dad, blame a monkey's ant. Put it down where the big girls are. So we get another. Deep water fishing with the old fishermen. I do love deep water fishing. I don't mind telling you. I do love it. Missed them that time. What are they following it up though? They down there. Plenty of fish down there. Laying all over that bottom. I believe I can get a bite. Hey, oh, missed it. Got him again, though. He hit it again. He hit it again. Oh, Lord. I believe we got a nut on there now. I ain't sure. What I'm thinking. I'm thinking we got another one on in there. Oh my. Not huge, but hey, they fish. They fish. Hey, they ain't hitting that bottom jig like I want them to hit it. I'm gonna put something else on. So we can catch them on that jig. Put it down. We got fish down at 47 foot now and went out deeper. That's what it is. They out deeper. Might be bigger ones out deeper. They tend to hang out off the ridge suspended in big ones, but not on the bottom. Oh yeah. I only got one to take it. Hey, that's a nice one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Come on in here, boy. Come on in here to the old fish. Jumbo mag. Two of them, that's what it is. That's why he felt so good. One of them is a super dog mag. Got him on the Mardi Gras. Look at that, the size of that perch. Kind of read about that perch magazine. howling and uh fish slacking off a little bit we ain't got much longer we can fish still get bites every so often they just ain't taking it small i reckon there's one there's one i don't know how small they are but hey there's one medium size Put a yellow on there and I ain't got a bite on it yet. I don't think yellow and white's the way to go. Probably need more natural colors. I think I'm gonna put Tennessee shad color on next. There he is. That slant will do it every time. There goes a nothing. There goes a nothing. I think I got two, I don't know. I'm thinking I do. How about three? How about three? Three at a time. One good one. Got the good one on that dog on new Charlie Brewer jig that I just put on and ripped it out.